Hey guys, it's Jacqueline from Homeschool Hangout by Nerd Family, and today we're going to talk math. No, not math curriculum. No, not math books. No, none of that. We are going to talk about how to introduce variables to your students. If you like these kinds of videos, do me a favor, give this a thumbs up, a like, a subscribe. Seriously, it really helps the channel out. And come see me over at Homeschool Hangout by Nerd Family, the Facebook group, or Nerd Family on Facebook, Nerd Family on Twitter, the Nerd Family blog on Instagram. Yeah, I think that's all the things. And today we're going to get into my nerdier side. And what do I mean by that? I was a math tutor for a long time. And I love math, I love learning things. So when I saw somebody on Facebook saying, my child is really struggling with the idea of using an X in an equation. Why would you use letters? It's just freaking them out. I thought, hey, I can share some concepts that I've used in teaching this to a variety of students, dozens, bakers, dozens of students. If you like these, seriously, if you like these specific how to explain a concept videos, and it doesn't just have to be math, do me a favor, leave it down in the comments and ask and ye may shall receive. But first, I have to do the intro to this segment that my 15 year old really, really wants me to do, as does my 13 year old, and it is, M&Ms are here math. Okay guys, this is simple easy, I promise. And I like to explain these math concepts like a kindergartner can explain this. And in reality, I have used this for lower elementary school kids frequently. And all you're going to do here is I have a math equation here. Now what you don't see is there's an equals. Sometimes I do this on a whiteboard and I use M&Ms. You don't have to use M&Ms. It's not really about giving them chocolate. It's just about having counters. We just always have M&Ms around and everyone pays more attention when there's M&Ms. So as you can count here, there are four M&Ms. And then we have here, this is my X. Why is it an X? It represents the unseen amount that is in the bowl. And then we have an equal sign that you just have to believe is there. And you have an answer. And there are six M&Ms there. So the math problem is four plus X bowl white call it whatever you want equals six well how do we figure out what's under the bowl well we know here that we have four m m's that i just put that there we go i have four m m's so if i say okay i want to match what i have on this side and take it out over here i'm going to take those out so what's left is two so that tells me that four plus two equals six total. Now let's take out the bowl and see if that happens. <gasps> Look, there's two M&Ms there. So we know that four, we can count them, one, two, three, four, five, six, equals six. Awesome. Now you can do this with multiplication. You don't only have to do it with addition. You can do it with subtraction. You can do it with any basic algebraic equation. But you know what? We know that's the case now that when we see a white bowl upside down, that that represents the missing amount of M&Ms. But what if I had a red cup? Would that mean there's more or less M&Ms in there because it's a red cup? Well, let's see. We have four M&Ms again. One, two, three, four. Plus a missing amount of M&Ms equals six. Well, let's do the same thing because we have four here. We're going to make a group of four here because these now match, right? So all we have left is two. So in theory, there should be two under here. <gasps> Look, there are two. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six equals one, two, three, four, five, six. Why did I use two different bowls? Because it doesn't matter if you call it X or Y or Z or M for M&Ms or M for missing. Those are just placeholders. They don't change the value and they don't really factor into the math. That is it. So here is a way that you can explain the importance of a variable without having to use letters to your students. Let me know if this is helpful and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.